What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another Pixel Heroes closed beta testing video. All right guys, we are going to be talking about this game a little more. Now you guys can see here I'm level 54. I have been putting a lot of effort into this account. This is actually my main account, the one I said that I was playing on my mobile phone. Uh, I've decided to switch it over to here. And I want to talk a little bit about this game uh, because I believe it actually does deserve a little bit of attention. And on top of how it is very similar to another game that I played in the past and covered, uh, and that is Omni Heroes. Now, I'm going to tell you guys straight up, a lot of gacha games that are being built this way are very similar to the way Omni Heroes was built. This one I find to be a little bit more... Um, or sorry, let me say a little less tedious and a lot more uh, free-to-play friendly and less monetization involved, which is something that Omni Heroes was great at in the beginning, but eventually lacked at the end and became very, very predatory, uh, where this game now is going to be one of the better ones out there right now for pixelated idle RPG games. Now, as I mentioned before, I have I'm not free to play on this account. I decided to spend a little bit over 100 bucks so far having a blast and just so you guys are aware this game does not require it now as i mentioned before recharge rebate rates actually just went up to 130 percent instead of 120 so you guys can see here march 6th this is when the cbt time expires uh note instantly the cbt is available on both android and ios platforms and some recharge functions are available during the cbt executors can participate in rebate activities by recharging during the test period recharge is not available on the ios platform though during this test but it is available on the android one just so you guys are aware kind of does suck for ios but for those who want to stay free to play friendly this won't affect you uh for those who spent like me for the 100 bucks i'm going to get you know a little bit back for spending the money that i did um all executors can use third-party web uh, recharge platform for for recharging so the way the rules work for this just want to talk to you guys about how this works the total amount recharged by executors and the cbt will be funded refunded in-game tokens at the corresponding rebates after the obt open a beta test starts so uh you get 150 percent right so essentially the way it works for example recharge 300 get 390 dollars worth of game tokens which is kind of cool uh spend a thousand get a thousand 150 please don't spend a thousand y'all crazy if you'd be spending that much um so this can be done in the usd platform and how you receive it is recharge rebates will be returned at in-game mail to the first character that passed stage 1-6 under the same account name. So you have to make sure you log in under the same account name. Uh, the CBT's data is deletion test is a data deletion test, except for the data related to participation and re recharge. So keep that in mind. Everything that you do in this game will be removed as it stays right now. Okay, so a couple of things I do want to talk about. Now, the summoning system works as follows there's a couple different things you guys can do here's what I, I topped up on this one but the sanctuary has a hero summon section which you can do star summons which is going to be your mostly two to three star characters which you're going to use for food anyways two stars you just kind of delete anyways but three stars you're going to use for food to up your four stars um these are fairly easy to get the light summons is going to be your main form of currency you can either use diamonds or you can use covenant of light tickets which is what you actually want to use the diamonds you want to save for other things and then there's friendly summons of course using your friend points to summon daily and then eventually if you guys get yourself enough summons here you use a thousand points to get a random five star hero okay there is another set of summons here ca called ray summons you guys are aware of this these are faction summons this is where you're going to use most of your light and dark characters yes they do exist in this game so this is where you're going to use that crystal privileges here this is something that you'll have to activate if you want to play you can receive additional one race magic crystal and a hundred race uh con 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 condensations jesus why am i struggling with that word daily so these are the things you will get for that uh this is actually if you plan to go light and dark this is almost a must-have um so you guys can see here there is some pay to win elements to it but let's talk about some of the most because i mean we're two days away from this closing down and then open beta test will happen so i want to give you guys all the details you need so first off guilds how do guilds work so guilds work the exact same way very similar to how things like um like omni heroes work right you have a guild you have a wish well where you can wish for certain things um you can help you, you can boost people's and then you'll get some yourself after five five boosts right there you guys can see here you guys get yourself some points and some some guild tokens and then from there you guys also can go to the guild shop and purchase guild items by participating in the guild events and then there is the guild uh grimoire which lets you uh level up and get uh get your things up um for your like your stats and then of course there is the guild expedition which is going to be the bosses your battle against other guilds and guild tournaments so there's a very much a guild uh element to this game and it's pretty hefty so uh you are going to be involved in that quite a bit when you first start there's a new server um 
which gives you the seven day bounty, which allows you to get yourself points for doing certain things like getting past certain stages. And then at the end of it all, you can uh, fight the hero challenge here every day. And then when you go into here, you can summon for this character here, Eternal Spear. Uh, she's an incredible character, actually. Uh, so Aurelia, and you can get her for free once you've completed all the tasks. Very free to play friendly. This is doable. You can also, uh, you know, get more points by spending, which will give you guys some more some more points to summon on to get her a little earlier. So that's available. And then there is, of course, the limited events that are going on that will happen as well too. So this is spending money. This is a newbie pack. This is Duel of Light, which allows you to get um, certain ranks. If you get a certain rank, you'll get yourself rewards, etc. Right. So these are the events that are going on. Uh, there's a trade airship in. The the screen which allows you to go to the different markets in the game and then use uh certain uh, points to get yourself characters currencies etc right so this is a very common part in games then there's your startup platform which of course lets you start up your characters there's going to be a lot of dupes required for this so get used to that uh they, they go up to rank 13 is the highest for most characters you guys can see here this will go to rank six and then you have to push even further from there if you go to your character screen as a matter of fact you can click on a character and see what their ranks are uh, and where they stand if you want to. Now, everybody has, well, a lot of characters do have skin as well. So skins are going to be allowed to be equipped and purchased, and then they will also increase stats. So keep in mind, skins are not free to play in this game. They are, in fact, going to be um, some pay-to-win elements to that as well, too, all right? So just so you guys are aware how that works. Uh, in terms of characters, five stars, there's going to be legendary. So let me actually go to the characters now. The catalog here. There's mythic characters, which are going to be your best characters. Then there are legendary characters as well, which are really good. And they also have four skills. And then lastly, there's going to be these epic characters, which can also be five-star characters, but they only have three skills. So these are going to be your food units to feed your legendary and mythic characters. Mythic, of course, are going to be the best ones in the game, but are also the hardest ones to get, okay? Different factions, light, dark, Alliance, Beast, and Woodland, okay? So those are the different factions. Each faction, of course, has different things you can do. My last video, I thought there was 10 characters you can use. I was wrong. Uh, it's actually the different lineup setups you can have, okay? So you guys can see here, various different lineups are going to be unlockable through the game. Uh, so that's what that's gonna do. So you can use a total of six characters in your team. Now, the characters are comprised of different roles. There is going to be different uh, assault units, which are going to be your melee DPS with some elements of debuffing or buffing. There is going to be your support and healers. Uh, there's going to be your tanks. You guys can see it's called defensive. There's going to be your mages. So let me, let me go to a mage here. Uh, here, here we go. Uh, your magic right there, right? And then there's going to be your melee assaults as well too. So there are various different characters in this game that can do different things. Keep that in mind when you're building. Uh, you'll want to at least have a healer, one tank, the very least, and then assault and some mages in the back. So that's going to be an important one. Characters are well constructed. Uh, the actual skills make perfect sense. There doesn't seem to be any issues for me in terms of the way they play. Uh, and right now, the biggest issue I have with this is the fact that there isn't a sanctuary where you can put your top five units or six units and have the other units in there that will uh, get their level. So that's the one thing that's missing. I think they probably will add that in the future, uh, but we're waiting for that as well. Astrology. This one here allows you to summon uh, using astrology, uh, Astrolab um, tick, uh, tickets, which will give you like random items. This also works for solar astrology which is the higher end ones and then mix astrology here as well too uh, and then of course we have the else temple which is very common the more characters you collect you earn these points and then you just level up your total stats for everybody okay and then if you if you want to you can get these flower of elves which is pay to win and then boost these every single day by using a wish again boosting your stats and there's various different levels of this so people can get insane amount of power just from this alone um now let's go to the realms the realms themselves are the mini games so or the games so there's of course the arena there's regular arena, there's championship temple, which is uh, working your way up and getting daily rewards for it. Uh, Divine Garden is essentially your resource section where you'll be able to farm certain resources per day. Uh, and then this will cost you more, more diamonds if you want to. Diamonds come up plenty, by the way, so don't even worry about that. Uh, Endless Sea is, is just little mini games that they'll open up. For example, this is a dice mini game where, again, you can collect... Uh, different rewards go to different people's places uh, steal their their resources etc it's kind of it's kind of fun uh, and then we have song of time which is a storyline based um, chapter a game where you can f learn about different characters and go through their chapters and get yourself rewards for example if i did this one this one gives me diamonds this one gives me tickets this one gives me 50 of the shards to get a character and this one gives me magic cubes for race summoning right so this is going to be extremely hard as time goes on but you get quite a bit of the details on the characters and get yourself 
pretty damn good rewards as well. Tower of Beings. This is, of course, your daily tower. You'll climb this, get rewards as you go through it, and then it gets more increasingly difficult. And uh, yeah, this is this is typical. Uh, River of Oblivion. This is something that will open up in a day. Uh, this is just getting gems, and this one here is getting yourself some mines for other things. Not sure what that one's about. And Eternal Throne is day seven of server lock, which I don't think is going to happen because we're not there. And just so you guys are aware, there is cross-server um, events going on here too okay just again something that we haven't been able to do just yet it's three of six see that uh so we'll have to get there eventually um so i'll know more about that as time goes on and then there is of course the um the heroes so we'll talk about the heroes so the way it works is you guys have equipment right a weapon chest rings and uh boots and then from here you have these uh these little uh called patterns right and the more you unlock the more you get and then eventually you get yourself exclusive weapons here as well too which will boost things like attack hp and then give you a random uh buff to your elements if especially if they're uh, blue and purple right so you can see frenzy for every one percent hp decreased damage increases uh so these will be a huge part and they will only unlock as you star up so you you get your characters up now in terms of starring up um it does take a little bit of time it, it it's actually pretty costly in regards to how long it does take so starting a platform for example getting a four star character to a five star you need dupes of the character then you need five of the random four stars then you need um two of sorry two of the character here one of the character there and then you need four three stars so do not get rid of your three stars now in order to get your five stars to six stars you need to have specific characters so you cannot use them just randomly and willy-nilly right so you need for example one of her and then one of this and then three five stars of your choice so make sure you are not feeding your legendaries and you are getting your four stars up so this will be a costly yet and, and very time like not time sensitive but like it, it will take a lot of time to get your characters up in terms of dupes so don't just expect to get super powerful right away unless you're planning to spend a lot so there you guys have it um, in terms of gameplay just so you guys are aware as well too story mode is locked behind levels just like omni heroes was you have to reach a certain level in order to get it uh, there are pets eventually that will unlock for you so you will be summoning on pets just like every other game that comes out as an idle rpg the more gotchas they have the more they'll get you on uh, you can still play other modes while you're waiting by the way so i can play story mode and do tower at the same time and then from tower i can go straight to pvp and do that as well so you're not always just sitting there watching a screen just so you guys are aware go to the next stage and again it moves on and you don't have to watch it you can see next battle has started so i'll go back to the realm and i want to do some pvp for example uh you can also skip pvp modes just so you guys are aware of that as well just got to click on the skip battle section and you can just see the full results of the battle uh, as you continue on right so let's just a couple more here and then as you do pvp just so you guys are aware there's daily rewards but there's also these chess rewards you guys can get yourself some things along the way so uh overall guys i will be honest with you this game has been an absolute blast but just like any other idle rpg eventually it will diminish over time so keep that in mind uh, i just didn't even see the power level of that person uh, it will diminish over time so be wary of the uh, the monetization here, it, it, it's unlimited. You can spend as much as you absolutely want and they will get you to spend even more just to power you up. So understand your limit, play within it. Clearly that's the main thing, right? Uh, and then I, I, I highly recommend giving this game a chance. I, I think it's worth it. Um, I think it's a fun, fun game and it's it's been a blast. I would love to continue covering this game, to be honest, when it's an open beta and continues growing. I may eventually make a tier list once I get more used to some of these characters, but I do see I would do want to see a couple changes made. For example, having a sanctuary where you can put your characters in there and, you, and level them up based on the top six of your units, having the lowest level, of course, being what everybody else gets. Um, and then, of course, being able to get dupes a little easier, that will make life a lot simpler for us but this is closed beta so they are going to most likely take a lot of the requests and people's opinions uh and hopefully improve the game even further but so far honestly guys this has been one of the best pixel games i've played in a very long time uh again storyline is great there are some translation issues for sure uh not no i don't see any bugs um that's that's a good sign for a game that's in closed beta and hopefully open beta will open up and you guys can all try it and you know give us your opinions on it to me specifically because i'm curious to know what you guys think uh and then let me know if you guys are into it or if you think um you guys want to do something else oh look at this i opened up mystic lands what's this oh this is this is the this is the uh the summon for the the spirits okay cool let's just do this right now here we're gonna summon a spirit right now let's see what we get this is getting a pet there we go got a pet cool so now we can equip that pet 
Oh, we didn't get it yet? Oh, I thought I got it. Okay, so this is to level up your... And this gives you full stats here, right? Yeah, this gives you stats. That's cool. Okay. And now here, I don't have a pet though. So I guess I have to... Okay, I have to unlock it. That was just... I thought that was just... Oh, was this a shard? Okay, so I guess that was just a shard. Did I not get it? Yeah, I guess not. So here, let's just do a 2,000. I'll just do this, whatever. I don't really care. It's like, we're losing all of this anyways. Like, what, what's the point, right, of holding on to it all? So there we go. We got one there. Okay, so do I actually... I actually have one now? Next stage. Mystic. There we go. Fuse. We got enough to actually fuse one. Okay, so the light soul harness powers inflicts to an, to an enemy with lowest HP and has a 5% chance to apply stun. Okay, cool. So let's go back. And let's equip that. Let's see. There you go. That's how that works. All right, guys. There you guys have it. That is the full range of games. The game, you will get a lot of these pop-ups, by the way. Uh, if you were going to stay free to play, of course, ignore them. Just know that they do exist, and they, you will be seeing quite a few of these things pop up. Um, just keep that in mind, okay? All right, guys. This is Payne. Again, love this game so far. Having a blast playing it. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping to continue playing this game when it comes out uh, because I think it's absolutely worth it. Uh, and I hope you guys join me in this little adventure. All right, guys. Talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.